I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for coming. My name is Ivan. I am a founder of Platform IO project. This is a new generation open source ecosystem for embedded development. Today, I am going to talk about the idea and the important role which it plays, which is a place in the success success of your of your risk file product. How do you think? Who actually needs an idea? I'm sure if I try to ask everyone in this room, in 99%, I will receive an answer that developers need it. And you are actually, you are actually right, but there are others who also, need, who also need this idea. This is the manufacturers and cheap vendors. I would like to emphasize, when I will talk about RX5 product, I will mean IP cores, microcontrollers, or other hardware or software, uh, software products. So you see, chip vendors actually think about developers, but they don't think, they think about manufacturers. Manufacturers add additional value to chip, to, to chip vendors' products. For example, when manufacturers, when manufacturers want to create some system, or, or system, system on a chip or development kit, there is the problem how to get really nice software for that. Today, they spend all their efforts and resources and work on yet another idea for their hardware. The same, which type of, of idea actually engineers need? There are a lot of different engineers. For example, hardware engineers who actually work on the hardware, they need totally different ideas as skilled embedding engineers. Non-professional non non, non -professional developers like makers, they prefer to work with really simplified idea, whereas they have amazing idea and they want to have their product tomorrow and they don't want to, to learn yet another idea and spend time reading 10 pages different manuals how to do this. It's clear for us now that idea plays important role for all of them. But there is the big problem in the market. If you have different boards on your table and these boards are based on different architectures, you actually have, you actually have the same number of uh, ideas. It's a simple example. I have five boards and I should install five different Eclipse just, just to work with these boards. The, the problem here is that developers and manufacturers, they would like to help cheap, they would like to help cheap vendors to simplify the entrance to their RIX-5 products line. And now is the question, should we create our own ID or for our customers to paid and proprietary tools? Please take a look at this table. You see that the only one benefit of commercial proprietary ID are our own. This is a time. I agree, time is very important resources. And if we try to create our own ID, we can lose months or even years. I even don't talk how many efforts or, or which will be our expenses. The same, what to do if we have any, any security fixes to our software tools. How does it work it today? You go to the semiconductor website, you download their, their ID, now you see yet another step. Please download SDK, manually unpack, unpack, put it somewhere, and add a pass to the operating system. Next week, chip vendors release some updates to the SDK and you don't know about that. You need to manually again go to the vendor site, check, uh-huh, I see, new version of the SDK. And you should repeat the same. You need to, make, sometimes you even need to reinstall the, the ID of the chip vendors. So we see that having open ID works better for us and we can make our tools even free and open source for our customers. Now is, the, now is the natural question. 
Should we create yet another idea? Which text editor we should use? Today, about 90% of ideas which we use in the embedded market, they are based on the Eclipse. What to do if we have much better text editor tomorrow? If we are in the position of the cheap, cheap vendor, we should again reinvest a lot of resources to build new idea based on this new text editor. We actually, actually this happened previous year. The Microsoft released free and open source Visual Studio Code Editor. And now is the problem, what to do with this? Should we create yet another idea based on top of, of the VS Code? We will lose a lot of months and again resources. And we don't know what, we, what will be next year. The next, what to do with the build system? Some, some, some chip vendors prefer, for example, to use Make. Others prefer to use CMake Generator and Backend, Ninja, or Make. The same, how to provide unified interface for manufacturers and developers where they can easily integrate into the chip vendor their own SDKs or framework. We know the chip vendor mostly focused on the low level SDKs, but there are a lot of high level frameworks and there is the problem how to use these frameworks with official semiconductor tools. The simple, the simple example, this is Arduino or other tools. You see that there is no integration for their boards uh, into, into the official uh, ideas. They have open notepad leg editor. This is the good example for this problem. Even if you, even, even if you pass all this, even, even if you answer this question, there is next problem, how, what to do with the adoption? How to build this community? How many again efforts will we lost here? So as we, as we can see, there are a lot of questions and there is no one answer for them. The new generation idea doesn't require for us, for us to have this question today because we don't know what will be tomorrow. It's the same. Which, which editor we'll have tomorrow, which build system we'll have tomorrow, or which operating system we'll have tomorrow. Today, I would like you to show a very simple, free and open source solution for as minimum half of these problems. This is the platform I own. This is the place where we make developers happy. The place where we give them full freedom. We don't force them to use any idea. We allow them to have a personal choice. They can use any operating system and they can use any idea which we support today. We have support for our 10 different ideas, including the Eclipse, Visual Studio Code, C-Line, <laughs> it's a huge list. You can check our website, but this is the menu. Um, also, we give them, we give also freedom for embedded teams. Now, developers within the team can use any combination of operating system plus ID. Let's imagine, I prefer to work with Mac, for example, and VS Code. You prefer to work with Eclipse and Linux. But we together work on the, the same project. If we will use the current tools which, which we have today in the embedded market, the configuration is located directly in the ID. If we do a minimum change with, in the one place, we should ask our colleague to replicate the same. Go to some windows, edit or, or update. But this, this platform IO, you don't need to do this. Because platform IO, as minimum, it's fully agnostic to the hardware. hardware. And the second, it's fully, fully independent from operating system and any idea. Platform IO, allows you to have a choice, not only from the idea uh, and build system. You can, also, you can also have very complicated project with hybrid, hybrid configuration. Let's imagine that your project, let's imagine you would like to build a project which is compatible between different, between different hardware which don't share the same architecture. architecture. In case is the with the generic tools, you need to duplicate this project into, the, into different places and build them separately. But Platform.io allows you to declare direct the platform 
into the which you would like to compile your project. And, and, and the type of the framework which you are going to use. From this point, Platform.io will do every, every complicated work for you automatically. You don't need to manually install any toolchains. You don't need to write any build script. You just explain Platform.io. Hey, Platform.io, my development kit is A. I would like to use framework or SDK B. Please flash my board, or please do debugging. Platform.io knows the type of your operating system. We already have rebuilt our 15 gigabytes of different tool chains, upload tools, and debugging servers. So the same like you do in your classic idea, pressing one button to build your source code, now you can press the same button within the Platform.io, like debug, and you will be in the main function. No need to worry with debugging server. Server. No need to worry with the commands which you should pass to debug client. Pla Platform.io does this automatically for you. Please take a look at this screen. This is the very simple, very simple guide how you can integrate your Rix5 products today in the Platform.io. It's very simple. It actually needs one week. One week replaces six months or one year if you try to do this on Dega Eclipse or other editor. You just explain Platform.io how to build your source code, which boards do you support, how to do debugging or how to do upload, uploading. And now from this point, your customers can use our 10 different ideas. They can use any operating system. They can build their project even from the common line using, using div different cloud solutions. There are a lot of pre-built integration with different continuous integration system. No need to go out from our ecosystem. Everything is here. Support for a lot of static analyzing tools. Deep memory analyzer, deep, deep memory and firmware analyzing explorer. Where, where you will know what is actually goes to your, to, to your hardware. You will see which symbols are going, how many RAM and, RAM and flash they will take. Our ecosystem is proved by our two millions of, two millions of active developers. For example, just the only extension for the Visual Studio Code, which we released uh, a few months ago, already was downloaded and installed about half a million unique users. And this extension is the number one extension in the Microsoft Marketplace. With the higher rated five stars, our 700 reviews with five stars. All our work is fully open source, so anyone can contribute or modify for own needs. The license is the maximum permissive. This is Apache 2.0. What is, what is important or would, what I would like to emphasize is that some of our tools were paid and proprietary before, before the June of this year. Thanks to the Western Digital and Sci-Fi, we open sourced everything and made whole our ecosystem for free. So now unified debugger, unit testing engine, platform remote, project static analyzer, everything is for free. If you if you work on this risk five hardware or software products, you don't need enough to spend any efforts and lost, lost money or expenses. You can just spend a few hours, just take a look at examples how other hardware is integrated to the platform IO, and you can make uh, your customers happy. The goal of platform IO, not only to give the freedom to the developers, but allow everyone to be focused where we are super skilled. If, if, hard, if semiconductor companies knows how to make excellent chips, let's other like manufacturers who know how, build, how, how to build excellent boards or tools to save time on that. Do you have any questions? So I've been using Platform.io, it's a good tool. Thanks for providing it. Um, 
I don't know internally what you're doing with Python, but uh, it seems like when after you install a number of MCU and uh, other chip uh, boards, uh, other boards for different chips, you start to get some conflicts between the Python modules. I know Python has a way of setting up in you know a unique environment. Are you using that or? Sorry, using what? Anyway, maybe my simple question is, uh -huh. there seems to be a number of conflicts in the Python uh, when you start to install multiple boards and okay. uh, chips. Uh, are you guys looking at that, or is that something you've heard? Or Okay. <clears throat> so I forgot to mention that there is only one requirement for the platform I.O. This is the Python in inter interpreter. What? If you have part Python interpreter installed on machine, Platform o works here without any dependency to other software. Today, we don't package Python. We depend on the Python which you install in your system. If your Python is broken or we don't have access to the internet because we need to install and download tools, that is why you may, maybe you have the problems. I don't know. But it's actually the version of the, the Python in your system. How did you install it? So was this issue caused by the update to the latest Catalina operating so version? So for example, there's you know, one recent issue is a K flash on the command, ah, okay. command line so. works fine. and. It doesn't work. Now I understand it doesn't problem. work in the build I/O, but another one is the builds don't work mm -hmm. after you install a couple of boards. I don't know if there's different conflicting packages that the vendors have provided. So this is the can write can write MCU based board. I'm correct. Um, that's one of them. Uh -huh, okay. So this is actually so this is actually not a problem with the platform I/O because platform I/O has decentralized architecture. The right platform IO core, this is the engine. With the command line tool, with the build system, with the package management, library management. And the right development platform, which explain, explains platform IO, have to do everything, building, uploading, debugging. And sometimes we are not responsible for these development platforms if they are not official. This type of development platform was created by, by Chinese CPIT company. And they are personally responsible to make this development platform compatible with Python 2 and Python 3. Now, this is their development platform works only with Python 2. It's not compatible, compatible with Python 3. And today, we actually, we actually have a platform of booth. You are welcome to visit us. Today, we also heard from the visitors that they tried to use uh, can write uh, MCU and they had the similar issue. And we checked that there's the actual problem with their development platform. And we will contact them and they will fix it. This is, this is the case when the development platform is not official. We have, we have our 30 different official development plat platforms, not only RISC V. This is AVR, ARM, MSP430, Espresso 8266, Espresso 32, Intel 8, Intel 80.051, a lot, a lot of them. The official platforms we test with our every commit. We test on different machines. We even have integration tests where we run our, our demo project and test them on the physical hardware. But in the case when the platform isn't, isn't official, we don't control because we don't have access to their source code. You understand, miss? So I, I, highly, I would be thankful if you file us a, an issue in the GitHub repository because all our work is open source. If you have problem with Nordic or Espresso development platform, please file an issue and we will help. If you try to monitor our activity, we help people in, in, in hours, not in weeks. It's, it's, very, it's very important for us because, for example, Espresso, this is, they are actually recommend us as their main, main, main development environment. And we have a ton of Espresso developers. This is really important if something doesn't work. Please report okay. us this.